Welcome to the Jeff Crilly Show. And now, here's Jeff Crilly. Newspaper readership across the country is in steep decline, but there's a local paper that's figured out the secret to becoming relevant to some of the most influential readers in North Texas. Joining us is Dave Mullen. He's the editor-in-chief of the Katy Trail Weekly. Uh, Dave, welcome to the program. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, you're not going to pull a Barbara Walters here on no. me to cry or anything, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like that. And then no, no uh, trick questions. Uh, so I, I spent 25 years in TV news, uh, you know, the last 15 in, at, at Channel 4. And we saw a lot of changes in, in the TV business. But I think uh, newspaper is just um, they're, they're struggling right now uh, across the country. I mean, we, uh, do, do we have a paywall when you can get free information? How do, how do you make that work? But the Katie Trail Weekly, great publication. If you, if you don't get it, uh, name, name the communities that you, um, you circulate in. Well, our basic footprint is um, central west to Love Field and then Preston Hollow down to the design district. So that will be relevant to everyone that lives in that community. Tell us about newspapers across the country, and why do you think people are kind of bailing on their on their newspaper subscription? Well, I don't know if they're bailing so much. I mean, we hear so so much about the social media aspect and how people are getting their news uh, from a different source than than the old traditional newspapers. But um, maybe I'm old fashioned. I still believe that people want to have something in their hands, newsprint. Uh, especially in those areas that have um, long commutes where you're on a train or on a bus. Uh, I believe that, uh, uh, but the content has to be relevant. That's the most important. I mean, we're a community newspaper, and uh, our sister paper, White Rock uh, Lake Weekly, which uh, attracted me to to join the company and um, help start uh, Katy Trail Weekly, uh, serves the community very well. Their footprint would be east of Central, basically, uh, East Dallas and uh, uh, Garland Road area uh, on up to uh, just past Northwest Highway. So uh, I think if you provide relevant content that is specific to a particular market, you can survive in the newspaper business. Um, we have seen the evolution of the newspaper probably going back to USA Today. If you remember when that publication came out, short, direct articles, relevant to I mean, some of the things that they invented was the weather map that mm-hmm. really newspapers hadn't had, certainly for color uh, weather map. They have a state-by-state, state, as you recall, um, still to this day, uh, article that's relevant for those people that uh, may be commuting you know, or, or uh, traveling and they want to see what's going on in their community. And I think that's what we've tried to do on a smaller scale is provide relevant content directly into the community, the announcement of, you know, new restaurants, the, uh, the, the ongoing uh, real estate uh, market, which is very important to, to, to people in uh, our readership, uh, sports, you know. So we, we, we stay real relevant, I think. One of your most popular columns, I know, is Candy's Dirt. Uh, tell Just us about ask that. Her. She'll tell you, yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it's terrific. I mean, we love uh, – um, quick story, I have a second cousin here who uh, – I lost touch with. And he sent me an email and said, uh, oh, hey, I see you're writing for this paper. I was reading Candy's Dirt. I said, well, writing for it? I'm editor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my picture's in it. You know, uh, She's very, very popular. Uh, and um, uh, it, it's, it's terrific working with her because um, she'll provide a variety of, uh, I don't want to call it gossip, but it's it's informa- relevant information people really want to know about uh, the celebrity ties. It, you know, she'll she'll feature a hundred and eighty nine thousand dollar condo and then talk about twenty million dollar homes in the market. So it's really interesting. Column. Now you're an entrepreneur because clearly you had to have seen a need that you know the, the Dallas Morning News is there. Many of these communities that you're in already have a local paper. What weren't they providing? Well. Uh, Actually, when you talk about the need, and uh, uh, the, the morning news is, uh, you know, it's our only daily paper. So they have to, they can pretty much do whatever they want. Uh, you've noticed now that they have tried to do sort of a community roundup every day in the metro section, and then they're providing a, a Friday um, regionalized insert uh, as well. Um, what we are able to do, I think, is, is, uh, provide more of a, a, a personality 
Um, we can we can get closer to the consumer, uh, and then where the morning news is really has to try to be all things to all people. Uh, so, uh, and, and you know, coming from journalism background, uh, that's kind of the way that the, the nightly news has to be too. You know, you've got to you got to try to cover all areas and you know appeal to the masses. Uh, we can be a little more specific by. How do you balance, and I know this has been a difficulty for all news organizations, how do you balance the what the reader needs to know versus uh, what they want to know? Because I, I think back on the TV business and Walter Cronkite would turn over in his grave if he saw the newscast lead with some of the pop culture stuff that it, it leads with. Uh, so the news business or my former industry, the television news business has really definitely changed, uh, based on ratings and stuff. Uh, how do you keep kind of the integrity of journalism with a capital J and still give the readers what they want to read? Well, I pretty much write what I want to read <laughs> and cool. hope that everyone else, uh, feels the same way. Uh, seriously, we, uh, we're not in, uh, uh, the world of consultants that you've seen, uh, you know, such a practice now on television and radio. Uh, they're very, very cookie cutter now. Uh, and and the fact that they are now not embracing social media, but almost uh, leading with it, you know, give us your Twitters, give us your Facebook comments and all of that. Well, is that really what people want? Or do they want to want news, want to stay on right. top of uh, uh, what's going on in their community? So, uh, and I, I think that's when it goes back to uh, your original question about the newspaper business. Uh, most of the content that you find on the internet comes from comes from the newspaper. You know, so if if I want somebody's opinion, that's fine. There's a ton of blogs and things like that. But as far as the source of news goes, somebody has to be out there reporting it, and that's what we're trying to do. What do you think about uh, digital? Because uh, so I had a theory. Uh, before the iPad came along, the theory was that the tactile experience of a newspaper flipping it, smelling the old print, it's always going to be there because there's no way you can really, you know, you're not, you're not going to read your computer at the kitchen table. So the, the newspaper will still be around. And then uh, Steve Jobs comes out with the iPad, and I was like, wow, you can actually consume a newspaper pretty effortlessly on the iPad now. Uh, how, do, how do you see the newspaper business going? Well, first of all, we are embracing that also. I mean, both uh, uh, katytrailweekly.com and whiterocklakeweekly.com are up and running, and uh, we're uh, building it and adding to it all the time. So there is that element that exists. Um, I, maybe, maybe I'm looking through uh, rose-colored glasses, but I really do feel like just as you said, that newspaper experience will always be around. You know, it's the cup of coffee in the, uh, you know, in the breakfast nook, uh, reading, you, you know, getting your hands dirty with ink, reading a, a, reading a newspaper. I still think that that's going to be there. Now, I'm not naive to think that the technology is not going to continue to uh, make the experience uh, convenient and easy, but uh, I still think that the, uh, the newspaper itself is – always going to be around. And and how do people get the Katie Trail Weekly and the White Rock paper? Uh, they're both free, and they're both uh, distributed uh, over 600 locations for Katie Trail, over 700 for uh, White Rock. Um, most businesses, restaurants, coffee shops, uh, you'll find it. And everybody I talk to, when I, when I mention to people, uh, so, we, you know, I have a PR firm, and I say, hey, you're going to be in the Katie Trail Weekly. Everybody knows it. So, I mean, you you really have done, I think, an excellent job of uh, penetrating a market that was underserved. Well, we had an opportunity um, because there was not a paper, a, a weekly paper in that area anymore. Um, the uh, uh, Park City's people had gone to, to monthly um, the uh, Turtle Creek News uh, folded, so we did have an opportunity to serve, and that's that's what we uh, uh, we saw that challenge. We started uh, uh, a year ago, February, with the first issue, and uh, I had initially come in because I was uh, I thought that the White Rock Lake paper was terrific, and I wanted to see what I could do to to help make it better. And then we uh, decided to expand into uh, that that 
vacant area with a weekly, and it's gone gone real well. Any any new new communities that you're eyeing? Are you the uh, William Randolph Hearst or the Rupert Murdoch of? Uh, <laughs> of the I hope local. not Rupert Murdoch. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna. We certainly are always looking at areas that uh, that we can serve that may be uh, currently underserved. Um, but uh, I'm not gonna. You're not uh, gonna re- reveal your hand <laughs> just not yet. Say, no, I'm not gonna say anything about Oak Cliff or. Uh, okay. No, I just <laughs> uh, Dave, what's what's your website? Uh, you can find us at katietroilweekly.com or whiterocklakeweekly.com. Excellent. Thank you so much for joining Thank you, us. Jeff. Appreciate it. Just ahead, the secret to being your own boss and determining the size of your own paycheck. Just ahead on the Jeff Curley Show.